That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Second shot here on the first. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Yeah, well played. Putting for birdie. Ooh, right by the hole. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Starting the round at even par. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Pretty good shot there. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Good play there, Rich. I like it a lot. John, give us an update. What's shaking? We've got Kisner on the third hole, guys. Okay, let's get back to the action. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> Didn't that look good for a long time? A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Oh, what a stroke. A oh, well holes, he'll take the birdie. She's currently tied for 12. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. Okay, step one complete, out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. This one's for birdie. This one's online. A wonderful putt. You can claim it, back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. At minus two, coming along nicely today. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. And choosing the eight iron here. But not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there and that'll be a pretty good hole. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good.
and this effort by Justin Thomas. Always lovely to see a long range bomb made. Let's recap it. Wonderful effort. This one's from downtown. Make sure you get the pace right. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And that puddle drop. Well done. Just one off the lead after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Uh-oh, we're starting to hear roars from another part of the course. That should find the cut stuff. Let's take a look at Kevin Kisner's effort from earlier. Look at this shot from the fairway bunker. What a stud. And back to the course with the live action. Sitting at two under par. Currently tied for fifth place. Chosen the pitching wedge here. 
wonderfully played. Make this putt, he'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. Yeah, good putt, well hold. And that will take it at three under. Some lovely momentum for this player, moving up the leaderboard. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That's a good-looking shot there. Second shot here on the sixth. Well, I'm sure she'll take that one. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Looking really good, this one. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Sitting at three under par. Currently tied for top spot. Going with the seven. Oh, well done. This punt is about 17 feet long. Ooh. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Job done. Let's head to the next. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This would be a great up and down from this spot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead.
Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Opting for the four iron here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Four feet to the cup. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take her to four under. She finds herself in a share of the lead. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Not bad. Let's head over to the 10th. Playing their fourth shot. And here we are with the third shot. She's got this to save par here. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. And looks like we're taking another look at that one. And as we make the turn here, Rich, our player tied for the lead. Well, this is what you practice for, isn't it? You want to be in the lead, up near the lead, going into the final nine holes of an event to see if you can win it. Let's see how well they've practiced and if it can pay off. A chance to pick up a couple of shots, maybe on the scorecard, because this is a short par five. 
such a good opportunity for this player to extend their lead. It is a gettable hole. They need to take advantage. She's a top quality player, this one. Sitting at minus four. Currently tied for first place. Interesting choice of the driver here. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will take her to five under. And with that hole, she's now the solo leader of this event. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. off here at the 11th. Going with the eight iron here. Well, oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, I'm following Kevin Kisner at the moment. He's on number 12. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Let's return to live play now. Seven feet to the cup. Nice stroke. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Now leading by one shot. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole.
Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 12. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Oh, absolutely flushed. This putt to get to seven under the card. Just didn't drop. Putting for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. John, what's going on out there? Well, guys, I'm down here on the 13th. This is Gary Woodland. Time for the fifth shot. Boy, Rich, that was a big time save, that one. Oh, gotta love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by a stroke. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Nicely done. Second shot here on the 13th. Interesting choice of the driver here. A big, bold play, and it almost paid off. Close to the surface. Let's see if they can get it up and down. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Judging it beautifully. What an effort. And another shot to your lead. And with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible.
and maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that it's time to tee off here at the 14th hole Oh, that's a high caliber shot.
There's been action of plenty all over the course. How about this great shot at the 15th? Fine shot from our player currently chasing the leader. Let's get back to it, shall we? From around 140 yards here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one might need to sit. Oh, they're dialed in. It's an absolute clinic. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And that's eight birdies today. And with that, she'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And that puts her in first place. Taking off now on a short par four. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? That's heading into the rough, I think. Time for the second shot at the 15. Yeah, that one will play. A good look at Birdie here. And that puck drops. Now nine under as we head to the stretch. And with just a slim lead coming down that stretch, anything can happen. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. Well, Rich, here's one of our proven performers in the FedEx Cup points race. They've been there or thereabouts for most of the season, and they go into this tournament as one of the strong favourites. It hardly seems a surprise, doesn't it? Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour in my mind's eye it is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again uh, it's a brave one driver off the deck that's some good golf right there Let's go to our man, John, on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm down here on the 17th hole, and this is a look at Gary Woodland. Oh, Rich, how good is that? That's incredible. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Okay, let's get back to the action. And here we are with the third shot.
Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. 16 feet to the cup. That was a gallant attempt. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Currently nine under for the round. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for Bernie. Oh, she's making it look easy. Holding putts with Will. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. Here's a great shot from our player currently in second. Lining up for his third now. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our leader is up by four shots now. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Man, people usually don't go that far on vacation. What a drive. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Well, what an opportunity in front of her. This for the tournament. You can mark that down as a victory. She'll claim it with all her heart. Luke, the victories, winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. And Rich, they only had a narrow margin the entire back nine, but they were able to pull out the win. That's very gutsy, isn't it? Luke, impressive win all around. I got to say, a gutsy performance at the end of the tournament. Final nine holes. Job well done. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.
UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey, proud to be alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam in Phoenix, Arizona, specifically TPC Scottsdale. What's this opening hole like? Well, thankfully, it's a little benign compared to the craziness around the golf course that ensues. Just 414 yards from the back tees. Bunker down the left-hand side, the players want to avoid. They'll be more than likely taking out a long iron fairway wood, hitting it down the right-hand side. Green tilts a little bit from right to left. A big runoff area on the left-hand side is a no-no for your second shot. But all in all, a nice, easy opening hole. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Well, this should find the short grass. TPC Scottsdale, known for a bunch of birdies rich, and you can get right after them here at the first. A gentle opening hole, second shot, a good opportunity to get your iron plate dialed in. Green is very small. Anything missing to the right and to the left will run off into a collection area. However, if your irons are dialed in early, it's a great opportunity to make an opening three. Well, this will be a bonus right on 17 feet from here. It was on a good line. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Starting the round at even par. The second hole at TPC Scottsdale is a mid-range par four, playing 442 yards from the tips. The bunkers on the right side need to be avoided, which leaves a good mid to short iron approach to a green that is bunkered front, left and right. So a good accurate approach required. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Going with the nine iron, I think. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. 11 feet left to the hole. Oh, that's frustrating. An opportunity to make their par. And well hold. Let's move on. So... No movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. Well, Rich, I feel like this is a bit of a rhetorical question, but what's your favourite part of the Waste Management Phoenix Open? All of it. There's not a single thing that I don't love about it. I find it, since I first started coming here in 1999, to be an absolute... I don't want to say circus because that's not the right word, but this is a social gathering. I once saw a guy, Luke, walking around in a jumpsuit made of pennies. Made of pennies. And I didn't know if it was chain mail or what. But in 1999, I saw this guy and thought, you know what? This tournament's a little different than the rest. As we've seen throughout the years, that's exactly what it's turned into. I mean, this is just a massive social gathering in Scottsdale. The players embrace it, they love it, they get it, they get into it by throwing stuff in the crowd on 16, wearing jerseys, dressing up, getting into the action, getting into the fun, if you will. It's, it's unlike any other golf tournament in the world and should be, this is a special event in a special place. The stadium hole gets a lot of the focus. Over 500,000 fans through the gates through the course of the week. But for all the partying, all the fun and frivolity that takes place, there's a fair bit of serious work that gets down to the, the end, isn't there? Well, they, they're playing for a lot of money, a lot of FedEx Cup points, as we know. But listen, these guys are out there to compete and win. But they don't lose the, the one atmospheric part about it, and that is everybody is out there to be entertained. 
and that's what they're trying to do entertain them make a lot of birdies if you can because that's what it takes you gotta make birdies to win this tournament whether this week is going to be delicious go get them that might be one club too many john talk to us what do you got for us well i'm on the eighth hole now this is tony finau's next shot oh dear that's on the beach And back to the course with the live action. Well, this would be a good putt to make. You'd move into the top five on the leaderboard. It's tracking. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Here she comes into the top five. And now at three under overall. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that will catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. And choosing the eight iron here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. And this putt to move into a tie for second. I like the look of this. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. She finds herself currently tied for second. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four, 432 off the back tees. Again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold play is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get after this hole, but a safe strategy lays back before them. Going with the seven. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Well, he's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? No, I'm not seeing a whole lot of... Oh, great shot. Holes out for a birdie. Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And with that, she'll move to five under par. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three measuring 215 yards from the back tees. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, that was pure. 12 feet to the cup coming up. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will take her to six under. She's in a share of top spot. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. This would be a great up and down. Coming off a string of four birdies.
looks to have chosen the seven iron this is beautiful to watch the iron play today has been absolutely stellar luke the greens and regulation just a fantastic accomplishment great to watch and racking up their fifth booty of the day and that will move her to seven under and just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard Finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale was a par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. There's plenty of room off the tee to the left, just so you can avoid that bunker on the right. There's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided, a short little pot bunker. But two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Ooh, nice line. Gee, that's good play. Six birdies in a round. And that will take her to eight under. John, do you have any info down there? Just down on the 13th hole now, guys. Tony Finau's just getting ready for his next shot. This is their fifth shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Oh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Well, keep your hands to yourself. But yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Well, guys, I'm down here on the 14th, and this is Tony Finau. Getting ready to play their third. Let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here at the 10th. Going with the seven. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. This putt coming up is for birdie. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. That one had eyes for it the whole way. This is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? The 11th is a par four, playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. Opting for the six iron. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Six feet remaining to the cup. Well done. leader is a couple of shots up at this stage the 12th at TPC Scottsdale is a par 3 measuring 192 yards off the back tees not much to this hole except the bunkers left to be avoided although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed attention folks 
That's how you play golf. Eight feet to the cup. I don't mind the look at this. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Let's have a look at Kevin Kisner from just a short time ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our current leader is up by three shots. The 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you're clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Birdie here to really ignite your charge. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Regal. Okay, steady now. And it certainly makes putty easier, doesn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Leading by three strokes now. The 14th is a strong par four, almost measuring 500 yards from the back tees. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag, although a four here never hurts. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. From around 170 yards here, Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th. and sets up a chance for birdie. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. They're in the bunker. Looking for an up and down here. Butting for birdie. And with it, she's going to extend the lead on the field. She's currently in first position. The 15th is a very important hole, the par five, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20 yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up, headed for the green. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. That wasn't your best effort, was it? Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. And that will drop in for birdie. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Looks to be going with the six iron. And this will give reason for the crowd to go absolutely bonkers here. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. 
Well, you're going to be difficult to catch now if you keep holding putts like that. Currently 14 under for the round. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? This dramatic finish at TPC Scottsdale has no shortage of options at the 17th, Rich. If you've hit the driver but you miss the green, you got to miss it out to the right-hand side to have any hope of getting it up and down for the birdie. However, you knock it on this green and one, you never know, you could make it two. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. I just love the aggressive play there, Rich. Just a missile of a tee shot right onto the green. <laughs> wow. Steady on there. Lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, nice looking putt. Well done. Take the birdie. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. The finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, make sure you get the right area on the green if you're to make your birdie. Another birdie opportunity coming up for this player. Absolutely. It's been a good streak late in the round. Choosing the 9-9 here. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And with this putt, she can win the tournament. This part of about six feet coming up. It's on a good line. Well, that's a great tournament to win. The Waste Management Phoenix Open, Rich, and all on Super Bowl Sunday. All the fans this week have been out there supportive of the tournament. They've been out here in record numbers. And the champion, well, they finally get to enjoy the festivities as well. Great play this week. Great win. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.